Pablo and Anne from Taco Space, where we help men and women in London and in Paris to move better, dance elegantly, express themselves and meet friendly people without tango lessons. And in this video, we want to teach you a really cool move to add power into your, into your dancing. So if you would like to learn how to combine Anan Roske and Lapis and playing with dynamics in your hero, then this video is for you. So now, let's break the steps for the leader, for the man. So for the leader, so what we're going to do is an Roske and a Lapis, yes? But we are going to start in a different way to create a bit more dynamic. So, as a leader, I'm going to step forward outside of her with the right leg and I will change my weight and I will change her weight and then I will go back. So now I'm going to go back, stretching my leg and I will change my axis. So I, will, I start the hero in this axis, but I will change my axis to my back leg and from this axis I will do the rosque and the lapis. So now I will leave my free leg uh, forward and I will initiate the, the hero, the pivot from the center of my body. So I will not move this leg. I will go with my shoulder, shoulder, hips, leg into the enrosque. And then I will keep opening so that will make me pivot a bit more in this position in the cross, always with the feet together like this. And then because I keep opening, my partner is going to create the energy to pivot me. So I open and then I will go into the lapis when she's in the back ocho and then we finish in the line of dance. So for the ladies, I will break down the steps as well. We are taking your back step, change our weight, this is not a side step, this is just a change of weight pivot. Come forward. Yeah. And then here he's inviting to us to do a turn, a hero. So we go side, back, side, forward, and result with a parada, for example, crossing the leg. And there are three things that are very important for the ladies' technique in this movement, that are, otherwise the movement is not going to work. The first thing is that we need to be very, very precise when we are following the, the leader, and here, he or she is inviting us just to do a change of weights. This is not a side step. This is a side step. We don't want to do a side step. This is just a change of weight while I'm pivoting. The second thing that is very important for the ladies is that when we are going into our turn, into our hero, we need to give them a lot of power and really take, take us with them because they are only on one leg, they are decorating. They need us to help them pivot. So in order to do that, I need to be really turning around the man and not away from him and be very, very precise. So the way I think about that is that instead of thinking about turning in the center of Pablo's axis, that, uh, instead, of, instead of imagining that his axis is going through his head and the center of his body, I imagine that his axis is actually going through his shoulder, his right shoulder. So then when, instead of turning around here, I'm turning around here. And the last thing that is very important and that is also going to help them pivot and feel more comfortable in their turn and in their lapis and anrosque is that I make sure I have a firm embrace. Here we are still working in practice embrace, but as soon as we are getting into the, the, the tango embrace, I, I make sure that I don't let my hand go floppy and that there is a bit of resistance here that he can use to push and help himself pivot. And now we we'll show you in the tango embrace. So we are going to start in the close embrace. We take the side step together. And now when the leader is going to step outside, I'm going to release the embrace to create a bit more dynamic. And I will invite her to, uh, to go back into her axis to change her weight. And then from here, I go back. We go back in the open embrace into the rosque and the lapis. And then we finish in the close embrace. And this is a movement where I try
try to really feel the hand of the leader on my back so that I'm, I'm really taking him with me and using the energy of, of uh, my, my back against his hands to help him turn as well. We really hope that you find this movement as fun as we do. And yes, and, uh, remember to use this movement to change dynamics in the hero and uh, leaders is a very good um, movement also to, to start working with the rosque and also with the lapis. Um, so yes, and remember always the flexible embraces. Uh, we hope that this video was helpful uh, and that you liked it. If it was and do you did like it, please like it and share it with your friends. If you are on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel. We share weekly video tips and especially... Please keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango needs your embrace. Yes, definitely. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay.